Hi YouTube, it's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond, coming at you with morning chit chat. Um, just checking in, seeing how everybody's doing. Let me say y'all be checking every morning. That's a good thing. Every morning I'll check in on you. <laughs> at least let y'all know how I'm doing. <laughs> I'm doing okay. I was so tired yesterday after I got off work. I didn't even get a lunch break, I'm going to tell you guys. Because it was by the time my first clinic got finished, I was going into my second clinic. Patients were coming in before I even got my first sit gone. And I'm like, okay, I got to go sit down 10 minutes and do something. And lo and behold, I didn't really bring lunch. So guess what I ate for lunch? Some Cheez-Its. Those Cheez-Its that I told you I got the other morning. Yeah, thank God I got them because I wouldn't have had no lunch. And I would have been evil the last half of the day if I ain't have nothing. But anyway, I know that wasn't even healthy. I got to get myself back together. I got to get this healthy kick back in because I have just fell off and, you know, I let busyness, you know, yeah. I like, I let that throw me to the wayside, but that don't stop me from packing my healthy lunch at night. It don't stop me from cooking at night. I haven't even been cooking because I've been so tired. I've just been like eating whatever you can, like whatever it is that's what you eat you know whatever you find whatever you drive through you go through or whatever that's what i've been doing for dinner so not so healthy choices lately so i don't even know what my monday morning weigh-in is going to be like because i haven't even got on the scale since monday and it wasn't good so i gotta get back focused with that so Hopefully, I can get to the grocery store the weekend and get some healthy options, healthy things so I can cook up food for the week and pack my lunch. That's what I bought those Ziploc trays from, containers from when Target had them on clearance and they're still in the box. I haven't even cracked the box open. So, that's going to be a plan for me. I think I've got everything that I need to do out of the way. The last thing I have to do is pack my pastor's um, son's box up for college the things I was going to give him to take so um, I'm planning on doing that tonight so I can take it to him Saturday and then that's out of the way and I don't have to plan for anything else no event is coming up, no nothing so it can just be about me, me, me and that's and I can get myself back focused on me okay so that's my goal for the weekend so hopefully that will work um really not too much going on people aren't really doing too much of anything and i know there were videos about michael's having penny items i saw sharika saunders got a wonderful i told y'all about that i think blessing with the little pouches for a penny the little pencil pouches good time for it to go back to school i'm gonna try to go in my mom's area today because i'm going down that way to get my inserts that Derek has for me and i'm um I'm going to go down there and see if I can um, see any because that would be good for um, the kids at church um, for school. So, try to pick up some of those if I can find any. A penny would be a good price. And I know other people have been talking about other things that's been going on, but I just have not caught it. I know Rob on Keep On Like A Man has a total blog post on the different sales that's going on. Um, right now um i keep saying um i hear that i'm sorry y'all know that's annoying but um <laughs> anyway a blog post of the school sales the back to school sales that's going on the hot deals and i want to say it was toys or us have the crayola crayons for for a dollar which is a good deal for crayola crayons so i need to skimmy through there when i go to walmart I really need to run out for my lunch break because I need to pick up my medicines from Walmart. So maybe I can skimmy in Toys Like Us, which is probably none left. But I think there's a lemon on them. So maybe people haven't really picked them all up. So I could do the crayons and hopefully the pouches. And they were talking about a possible double dip at Wags. I'm praying it is. That would be an excellent deal. The book bags are, I think they said $2.99. And they're on, no, 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 take that off. The book bags are on, I can't remember what the regular price is this week, but they're on buy one, get one this week. And next weekend, well, Saturday, they're going to be $2.99. So we think we're going to get them at the BOGO $2.99 price. So one book bag will be $1.49. 
wonderful deal, you guys. If we can get that deal, that would be, woo. Well, maybe it's buy one, get 150%. Maybe that's what it is. Because they were saying a bag will cost 149 I don't know. Y'all look at it. Go on Creep On Like a Man Rob's blog site. And they have back to school specials. And y'all can see what I'm talking about up there. So they're putting all the deals up there. And there was some one cent something. I don't know if it was pencils or pens. It was one cent something. I can't remember what it was. Because I was half asleep trying to <laughs> look on the computer last night. So, anyway, y'all go to the blog post. It's up there, okay? <laughs> we need to learn to, um, you know, um, what am I trying to say? Look things up for ourselves. Investigate for ourselves, you know? Mm -hmm. Research. That's what I wanted to say. Research. We need to learn to research for ourselves. Because if you depend on me, I'm going to only have half of it. Y'all know how I do. I'm only going to have half of it. I, I, and then when I get in the store, I try to put it together. That's what I do. Okay? Sorry. But anyway, <laughs> I would never make a good news reporter. That's for sure. Because I ain't going to have it all. <laughs> I'm going to get the first hot topic and run with it. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> but anyway... Um, that's about all that I know that's going on that y'all might want to do. Um, have not seen anything else going on that's hot and exciting. And then there's no inserts for the week coming up. So it looks like we might have a little breaky break there. At least some of y'all for clipping inserts because y'all know me. Mm. <sighs> I only talk about clipping inserts. <laughs> I get a few done and I'm like, that's it, I'm tired. <laughs> Oh, but I did use that method that Soldier Girl Shay used, showed us, and that has helped me as far as separating the inserts, doing like maybe 10 at a time, maybe a little bit more, according to how thick it is, um, and stacking them and cutting them all at one time. You just got to make sure you staple it or paper clip it so that it don't slip, so that you know you're not cutting some of your coupons. Because when I first did it, I had cut some of the dates was off and some of my barcodes was cut real close but luckily I got a good cashier who um, just went on and punched it in because they realized some of the barcode was cut but they he knew the date and stuff was still good on it so you know he went on and punched it in for me so that was nice of him to do that because he could have said it they don't scan I can't take it so anyway so I just now I make sure I'm very careful when I'm clipping now, but that seems to be good. And then you got them all stacked already together. Just slide them in a sleeve. You know, so I love that. Um, what else is going on? Um, nothing else really going on, you guys. That's it. Um, I haven't heard about anything for Rite Aid. I haven't even looked at videos concerning Rite Aid. So I'm hoping, you know, this next few weeks, give me time to get stuff together. And then I can get back on it. Hot into the couponing scene. Couponing and weight loss scene. Hopefully I can get into that. Oh, man. I got tuna fish and salmon for lunch today. I made sure I made me some some of that. Yeah. I would love to have a good, nice salmon cake. Someone was talking about they had salmon cakes. I'm like, oh, that sounds good. And I went in the stores because I was going to make some last night. I'm like, Mm -mm. Don't even try to cook last <laughs> night. Mm -mm. I didn't. I went to the seafood restaurant. I had shrimp and flounder and a baked potato. Yeah, and it was fried. It wasn't grilled. Okay, so anyway, we know I got issues. I haven't got there yet. I haven't arrived yet. Y'all know that. I got to get better, though. My God, it's summertime, and I still don't got that body I was talking about. <laughs> you won't be looking at this body. <laughs> I love that Zoom. When we do Zoom to that song, it tickles me. But anyway, um, nothing, nothing else to report. Nothing else going on with my life. <sighs> Michaels and Staples. <laughs> uh, I guess everybody cleared Staples out. I haven't seen any more videos or any more posts on Instagram. I guess they just cleared them right out. <laughs> my little small town with their one Staples. I'm showing y'all my bra this morning. This shirt is too big. And I'm wearing it. Because that's what I picked up. That's what I'm wearing, okay? Not wearing any of my new uniforms until I start my new job. That's the deal, okay? But anyway, 
let me tell y'all this you know this was kind of funny well, it wasn't funny but i was like because it's my self-image this is weight loss so couponers if y'all want to hear this y'all can er, clip it out because it's about weight loss and body image i still see myself as this fat girl and i thought i had kind of gotten over that image oh i'm still plump don't get me wrong <laughs> y'all seen the pictures i'm still plump but <laughs> I'm talking about this 300 plus fat lady. That's what I'm saying. I still see myself, but even though I know, okay, I was in Goodwill. I told you guys I went to Goodwill and found some good deals, okay? But I was in there and I was looking, you know, and I'm looking for the size that I know I am. So my mind is not telling me this deal because my mind used to tell me when I go in the store to go into the plus, I would automatically walk to the plus size section looking for things because I didn't think I was able to find anything. And I would have to detour. I told y'all one of my friends was like, Natalie, that dress is too big for you. You need to get cut here. This is the size you need, you know. And in my head, you know, it took him to show me when we went shopping one day that, okay, this is my size, you know, because I was still trying to get in the plus size and, and I could go in the regular sizes, you know. So it's something. This body image thing is something. But anyway, you know, when I think, I think people see me as fat girl. So this lady come on, I passed her by in the store and we spoke like that. We didn't talk, just said, Hi, how you doing? Like that. So she came up to me, she was like, Excuse me, ma'am. She had a little soft voice. She said, Do you like this dress? I said, Yes, I do. I said, That's cute. It's a little like a little um khaki jumper dress. I'm um, a little summerish, you know, knee limp. And you know, I thought she was talking about for herself, right? And then she said, well, I can't wear it. She said, it's an extra large and I'm a large. She said, I think it'll be look good on you. And I'm like, how does this woman even know I'm an extra large? You know, because in my head, I'm thinking, okay, 2X, 3X fatty, okay? You know? <laughs> oh, my God, y'all. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, you know, and I'm like, thank you. You know, and I, I, it made me kind of feel good because I'm like, Maybe I don't look the way I think I look, you know, maybe, you know, because I know my friend is always telling me that you don't need to lose any more weight, but I know I need to lose some more because I'm still not where I want to be, okay? So, you know, and, you know, I think the thing about me, if I would lose this belly, I think that would do it because arms and neck and thighs, I don't think I need to lose any more of that, but, um... You know, and I'm like, oh my God, this lady didn't think I was fat. She, she thought I could wear an extra large. You know, and even though I can wear an extra large, I mean, it's like, it, I don't know. You have to live it to know it. Some of y'all are probably saying, what was what the big deal about that? But if you ever been a plus size, if you ever been morbidly obese, then you can, you, um, you understand what I'm saying, you know? So, yeah. Most definitely. Then she come ran and she bought me. She said, I found another one. This just ain't my day. I'm like, keep on shopping, woman. Then I ain't got to look. <laughs> so she found me another dress outfit. And it was so cute. I'm like, yes, sir, ma'am. I said I was messing with her. I said, keep on shopping, sweetie. <laughs> Find it. And I can just sit here on the aisle and you bring it to me. But it was so cute. So I, um... Yeah, it was real cute. So I um got that, and yeah, so I bought that, and then I found me as I was looking. I found a nice cute.